The governor's press secretary says Governor Tate Reeves has no intention of requiring students and staff to wear masks when they're in school this fall. And that is a direct response to the Mississippi Association of Educators. The group asked the governor this morning to reconsider his position in masks in schools and mandate the use of masks for all individuals inside school buildings. Well, there's a new school year just around the corner. Now, 12 News, Anna Farish listened in on a virtual meeting today on what educators need to know before heading back. Anna? Well, Melanie Byron, the Mississippi Association of Educators partnered with state health officer Dr. Thomas Dobbs and state epidemiologist Dr. Paul Byers and gave teachers and educators a chance to ask questions about what this upcoming school year is going to look like and give the public some health recommendations how to keep people safe. The 2021-2022 school year is fast approaching, and with the Delta variant rapidly spreading across the state, teachers are concerned for the safety of their students. You're going to have cases. You're going to have cases among your students. You're going to have cases among your teachers. You're going to see outbreaks. State epidemiologist Dr. Paul Byers and state health officer Dr. Thomas Dobbs say when it comes to safety guidelines in schools, they mirror what the CDC suggests, but they say you can also take some extra precautions. You know, the vaccination is really going to be the key for us moving forward. We're not mandating vaccination for, for school age kids. We're not mandating vaccination for teachers in the schools, but we do feel like that uh, I think it's incumbent upon us to make that recommendation that everybody who is eligible 12 and older uh, do get an appropriate vaccine. Other recommendations include rapid testing once a week for those unvaccinated asymptomatic students and teachers. Indoors, unvaccinated people should wear masks at all times. And if someone is exposed to the virus, contact tracing to eliminate further spread. We had really hoped that, and I had hoped last spring, that we were going to be in a much better position for this year. And I think that we may actually be in a little bit worse position than we were last year at this time, because last year we were on a downward trend when we started in August. This year, we're on an upward trend. Each school district can make their own rules regarding mask wearing, but both Dr. Byers and Dr. Dobbs reiterated how fast the Delta variant can spread and for schools to consider universal masking. Now, Dr. Byers says another safety measure to stop the spread of COVID-19 is for rapid testing in schools when it comes to extra extracurricular activities. That's cheerleading, sports events, choir practice, anything like that, because we did lose a lot of these extracurriculars last year during it COVID. We did. Yeah. Yes, we lost a lot of that, and it was a good for him to make the, the a statement from the health department that they do recommend you mask up. Absolutely. And they're also not mandating the vaccine. Oh, no. They're making sure that they tell people how important it is to get the vaccine yeah. and the effectiveness of that for All students. Right. Good information. Thanks, Anna. Yeah, Thank thanks, you. guys.